Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create grids in Tecla Structures 2025 version with PDF example. If you need this PDF example, please go to my channel, Gany SK YouTube channel. Click on in search bar and you will get this channel and click on here and click on join and click on join here. Use any one of these option to purchase this membership and click on buy and purchase this membership and take a screenshot and send to my email address. I will provide my email address in the description and on this screen also and take a screenshot and send to my email address and you will get latest tutorial PDF examples to directly to your mail. Okay, let's start. Okay, now we're going to open our Tecla structures. So double click on this Tecla structure icon to open and environment you need to take Indian and role steel detailer and configuration this is the educational license version so educational and then click on ok to open if you don't have this tecla structure software in my previous tutorial i have explained how to download and install tecla structures 2025 version so please check out and download and install it and follow this tutorials okay now i want to create a new project so click on here new and let's take here tecla 2025 tutorial tutorial one then this is the project name and this is the place in where this project is saved and you need to select here single user and you need to select here template is the blank then click on create once you get this pop-up you need to click on here s yes. okay this is the default grids in this project now we're going to edit our grids according to our example so we're going to open our PDF example. So that we want to open this PDF example. Here we have example. This is a grid. We have four grids in horizontal one, two, three, four, and uh, vertical. We have A, B, C grids, and this is the elevation view, and this is the plan view. Okay, we're going to create this grid example in our project. So that we want this grid to open this uh, grid property window, or you can directly select it and right click on mouse. Click on here property to open this property window. Otherwise, just click on this grid and use the shortcut Alt Enter to open this property window. You can use any three of these methods to open this property window. Just double click on this grid to open this property window. Now, by default, these are the grids. So we're going to remove this all grids options and by default, in our example, you can see this is the coordinate of 0, 0, 0. This is the point. So we're going to make it 0 in x and y and z direction and give the space. In x direction, in our example, we have the first grid. That means the second grid from first grid to second grid spacing. This is the 6000. These are the base spacing. We can call it as a base spacing from one grid to one grid spacing. We can call it as a base spacing. We have base spacing 6000, 5000, and 6000 in horizontal. So we need to enter here 6000, 5000, and give the space and 6000. We need to give the space between the values 6000, 5, and 6000. Okay, next in y direction, we need to enter these values 4500 and 4000. So in y direction, 4500 and give space and 4000. In the z direction, we need to give the space. Initially, you should make sure that the value should be 0, 0 because the first initial grid coordinate should be 0, 0, 0. From that, you need to enter the remaining values. So now coming to the labels from x direction, in our example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 grids. So by default, we have ABC, but we need to delete these grids label names and we need to enter here one two three four so one and give space two three four similarly we need to enter in y direction a b c in capital letters so a b c now coming to the z direction uh, ground level is the plus zero and first floor level three thousand and the second floor is the seven thousand plus indicates the the value from the ground level so three thousand that means the ground value 3000 from the ground level and 7000 uh, that means that this floor from ground to second floor is the 7000 value so we need to enter here same similarly here and here also values we need to enter here values 
uh, ground level is the 0 and uh, first floor is the 3000 and give space and the second floor is the 7000 is the value. The, the difference between this base spacing here the in the plan view we need to enter the base spacing from here we need to enter the floor level from the, the values from the ground. So, we need to enter here 0, 3000 and 7000 like this. Now, coming to the label, we need to enter here plus 0 and plus 3000 and give the space and plus 7000 like this. Now, click on modify to the see the result here. You can see you will get like this. Use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this. You can see. Now, close this window and you can see these grids out of this box. This is the model box. You can see work area. So, we need to uh, set the work area. So, click on space, right click on mouse, fit work area to entire model to set this uh, model box. The grid should be inside of this model box, work area box like this. Okay. Now, now we have entered the values, everything in this grid like this. According to our example, you can see we have grid 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and a, B, C and A, B, C in the levels. Now, we are going to create views. So, click on grid, right click on mouse, create views. You can create like this, create views along grid lines. Now, this is the plan title. This is the elevation. So, we need to enter here before elevation on grid. Similarly, we are going to enter here also, view space and enter elevation on grid then click on create, then OK and OK. Now, we have created views in this project. So, click on window and select this view list to see the views here or you can use also shortcut control I to open the view list like this. Now, we are going to take the elevation. In our example, we have see elevation on grid 1 to 4. So, we are going to take the elevation on grid 1 and you can see this is the elevation view according to our this example project example. You can see 0, 3000, 7000, 0, 3000, 7000 and here A, B, C in this elevation direction. Now, click on window and select this 3D view like this. Now, we are going to take the plan view as well. So, click on here and view list, go to the view list and select the plan at 0 and click on this arrow to open the view. You can see at the top, the title of this here, you can see view is the planet plus 0 level and if you wanted to open this elevation on grid 1, so you can see the title at the top of the screen, elevation on grid 1, like this. Okay, now I am going to measure these dimensions, uh, according to our example, is this, these dimensions are correct or not, we are going to measure these dimensions, so click on edit and select this measure and select this horizontal and pick the first point at this intersection and pick the second point at this intersection and click on here to place the dimension. You can see 6000. In our example, we have 6000. Similarly, we are going to measure the remaining dimensions, pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension like this. Similarly, we are going to take the vertical direction values also. So, click on here measure and select this vertical distance and click on here first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension. Similarly, here also. Right click on mouse, interrupt to exit the command. Now, we are going to see 6000, 5000, 6000, 6000, 5000, 6000. In the y direction, 4500, 4000, 4000. Okay. Now, coming to the elevation view. Go to the elevation view. In the elevation also, we are going to measure this first floor and second floor level. So, click on here, measure and set this vertical distance. And from first floor, ground floor to first floor, we have 3000 from ground floor to Second floor, we have 7000 value like this. Now, coming to here, you can also measure these dimensions as well. Select the horizontal distance and pick the first point and second point and place here like this. See, you can see 4500 and 4000, 4500 and 4000. Now, in this level, we have 0 to first floor level 3000 and ground to second floor level, we have 7000 like this. Okay. Now, click on window and select this studio like this. These are the checking dimensions. So, you can erase this checking dimensions as well. So, click on space, right click on mouse, data view to erase this checking dimensions. Similarly, in the plan view also, 
these are the checking dimensions once you check the dimensions then click on space right click on mouse redraw view to redraw view to arrange these dimensions okay now click on 3d view to open like this use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this if you want to zoom in use the scroll button to zoom in and zoom out like this okay that's it about how to create grids in tecla structures with this pdf example if you have any doubts please comment below for this pdf example please go to my channel and then sk youtube channel click on in search bar and you will get this channel and click on here and click on join and click on join here use any one of this option to purchase this membership and click on buy and purchase this membership and take a screenshot and send to my email address i will provide my email address in the description and on this screen also and take a screenshot and send to my email address and you will get latest tutorial pdf examples to directly to your mail okay